Hey everybody, welcome to G4G on YouTube. Week number two of fun work from home quarantine. And the videos continue. So, hopefully what I've done at this point is put together my footage for the Forgotten Raids of World of Warcraft and put that up. And this is another video that I'm doing which is War... Actually the hell is the name of this one exactly because it's complicated so it's a final fantasy brave xvs and it is this one right over here um war of the something or other actually let's go find out because i just loaded it after pre-registering for it over here oh installed okay so I might get around to doing Gwent the Android version even though I've, I've covered it a long long time ago were the visions okay cool there it is were the visions Final Fantasy brave Exvius so from what I know about it it's going to play out a lot like Final Fantasy tactics except it's going to have the brave Exvius kind of skin on it over here the only thing that you're missing so far in this video is a little bit of audio and text that was scrolling by as an opening and um, I wanted to get through that before starting the actual footage of it. If vanquishing monsters means an opportunity to accompany you to the field, the castle walls are stifling. Is that so? There will be time for words later. That sort of looks like, um... Valkyria profile I, I've seen this this style of graphics in another square game um, Valkyrie Chronicles or Valkyrie profile I mean that's a classic Final Fantasy bomb right there uh, the characters that you know what actually kind of reminds me of a little bit a very underrated square game from back in the PlayStation era um oh what the hell was the name of that vandal hearts i'm gonna have to check out the name of that um vagrant story excuse me vagrant story yeah that that's what these graphics sort of remind me of the detailed but not detailed kind of look to them vagrant story was very very interesting um it came out when I was into a lot of Square games like Brave Fencer Musashi and Vagrant Story and the PlayStation Final Fantasy games which were 7, 8, and 9. Uh, very unsung. I don't know of a lot of people who did either Brave Fencer Musashi and Vagrant Story or both actually. Oh, it looks like it's going to have the death counter like Final Fantasy Tactics. Ow. That's some spicy damage. So I believe that your main character here is a summoner and that's kind of the big plot thing is that he can summon people. Mm, blizzard on a firebomb. We know what's going to happen here. Oh look. It's the rock paper blizzard scissors Spock. Kind of a style over here so we've begun to see this in games a lot lately legacy of the beast is very close to this with um the circle but then the two that directly oppose each other now the fact that you can just pick a unit oh, up there's there's the fan service boobs i wonder if these guys are gonna crystallize like they did in tactics and we have a limit break oh geez is that Johnny Young Bosch is that Ichigo 
if they tapped him for this, I, I would be, I'd be happy. To me, him along with Steve Blum is one of the more recognizable well voices in anime voice acting and everything. All I did was. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if it's him. Now it is just a matter of how to gain more experience. Hmm. Okay. She's gone. Interesting. She's vanished. It seems that you have yet to. You tell it true, Oyster. Now, let us return to this. You know, the the graphic style reminds me of what Final Fantasy Tactics units could have looked like had there been a you know several generations increase in the graphical fidelity at that time. Kind of looks like Assassin's Creed characters hanging out with the Chocobos. Are they going to call this a rock? Who would have thought we'd run into... Protect Lady Mushery! I hope they call that a rock, because that would be really Final Fantasy. What is all this ruckus? Monsters have appeared. Don't worry not, Mike. What timing? I was looking for a reason to... Are uh, we going to have a badass Alma character? This is going to be interesting if she's Alma-esque but a badass. I've heard when we get to the main UI screen that it's going to be ridiculously free to play looking and uh, quite busy. So from what I know, characters are going to have movement points and jump points or movement characteristics. Oh, it's a zoo? Okay. Close enough. You can see you have like a, um, uh, a jump, which is your vertical ability, and then your movement, which is your horizontal ability. I think it's only got 34. For, oh, there it is. 82 out of 255. Weakened already. Yeah, exactly what we would expect from a tactics game, though. However, the, the ability to target just a unit, though, uh, that's super handy. Because we always had to deal with splash damage and tactics. Splat. Oh, shit. Really? A behemoth already? In the second battle of the game? Damn, that's... Oh, she's going to get it. Somebody's getting it. Somebody's taking it right in the pooper on this one. Yeah. Ooh, an Esper. I think I'm hit wait a minute, I think I'm hitting Dude Mar of my own party if I pick that slot. And now just, wow. This is gonna be awkward placing this. Huh. See if I can do this without hitting somebody. Oh, uh, I wonder if it's two finger yeah, this is gonna be tough to do for Blue stacks. There might be a, a rotation here. A two finger rotation. Uh, let's see if I can get in in that back. Oh, back here maybe? Nope. Still hitting him. 
Ah, uh, this is going to be tough. Let's see if I can find out how many hit points. 286. Yeah, it's not letting me. Well, sorry, dude. Back here, maybe? Okay, that might work. No, it's not letting me confirm. Alright, there we go. Hopefully I don't roast anybody on this other than the enemies, but... Wow, Behemoth in the second fight. Oh, that's cool. Kinda looks like a, uh... A yokai from the Neo series. Damn. Guess we don't have to worry about a Behemoth in the second battle of the game. Yay, there's some classic Final Fantasy music. Incredible. So this is the power of the ancient relic passed down. Let us journey onward, Forthetter. Bravely Default. I'm thinking this is not a badass Alma. This is more like the Bravely Default main character. Hmm, a bunch of lions when the other Final Fantasy tactics was War of the Lions. A crystal hanging in the sky, kind of like Cocoon. 13 and 13 too. Gotta admit, these these graphics are pretty solid. So when you install it, the game originally asks you, you know, what social account do you want to associate it to, like Facebook or Google. It then asks you, do you want to do English voices, Japanese voices, or no voices, believe it or not, no voices comes in as a download not much different in size than actually having English or Japanese vo you know, voices, so that's interesting. So here's apparently the main screen of it, and it's as busy as I heard it would be. So it looks like we're going to get our first summon over here. Now, I'm fairly sure I know what I should be getting because of the fact that I pre-registered for the app. Oh, a pay... Ah, you know, I've seen that paid and regular crystal thing before. That's in another Eden... It's just weird how it's implemented in another E and you have these crystals and then you have paid crystals and they look identical. I wonder what that's going to be. That's different from the others. Huh. It didn't look like that'd be a super rare. Is that going to be a summon? Sorry, I mage. Noble thief of Rubius. Those are called super rare. Wonder wonder what these golden ones are gonna be. Mega huh, mega rare. Huh, so it looks like I got a duplicate already. Another, it looks like another type of caster. And 
And the final golden one is... Malevolent Queen. My queen. So, I should be getting... Wow, so this is okay. Down here by the okay and summit again, that is exactly like another Eden. That summit again with the 2000 over here, this is very much the same style as another Eden. So if you get a duplicate, you get shards and vision spheres, which awaken and do limit breaks. Where can I do... Yeah, this is laid out exactly like another Eden. This is... This is a hard rip of that. Let's see if we can... Get some examples here. I def... So, another Eden... Is definitely a game that if it allows you... Oh, I can install it here? Interesting. I have problems having devices that qualify for getting another Eden, so I've tended to load it from side stores um, and everything like that. Here on my blue stacks, it actually seems to be enabling it. This is a fantastic game that is so um, really does it well for a uh, a free to play game. The desire to spend money in this game is extremely low, but uh, it's getting some bad reviews here. Having full bars sitting on a modem, error code 8, the reviews for the quality of player support. I could not play the game because of a broken download. Tried deleting cache quick, I had to reinstall the game. Then I found out user ID does not carry over. There was no warning. Yeah, that. So this is weird how this game works over here with doing it on multiple devices it doesn't like cloud sync through a Facebook ID or Google ID the way you would expect a lot of other similar games to you sort of like have to tell it yeah make a backup so I can pull it somewhere else this is this is truly a very very good game um, if you liked the chrono series Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross um, back in the day. As a matter of fact, it, it borrows so much from uh, the whole series. I mean, the frog, the night style frog and everything like that. It's, um, it's just really good, but it's very interesting to see that, you know, this is made by WFS and we're looking here at a game made by Square and my god, does it truly take some of that store UI. Unfortunately, they don't have a screenshot of it and I can't, I don't want to install it over here and, and mess up my ID from the machine that I am playing it on. But uh, yeah, that was, that was very, very another Eden look over there in the store. So I think it's probably there under presence. I hate games that, you know, okay, you, you want me to follow a tutorial and everything, and you want me to pick certain things, but like, allow me to do other things too. Sure, guide me to where I need to go, but allow me to do other things like, um, you know, get into the settings or check my mail or something like that. Or if this was another install, if this was like a secondary install, maybe I don't want to do auto. Um, if this was like a secondary install and I don't get the chance to associate it to my account yet, that's one thing that pisses me off about mobile games is games that make you play like 10 or almost maybe 15 minutes before you can even get to the screen where you're like, yeah, I have an account. I'll put it in here if you will let me. And then it doesn't let you for... 10 or 15 minutes, that, that's straight obnoxious and always pisses me off when it does it. Ha! <laughs> Fucking Tokyo Drift Chocobo. You, you seem to be outnumbered here. 
my enemy friend. I do so miss our castle. Princess. I know. It's for the just have her come out and dunk a freet on these guys again. That is like, let's enough. cut to the chase I over here with these Ezekiel enemies. In that case, may the Leonisians bid! So it seems like we've encountered a rogue element from a warring nation. Let's see how this battle goes, and then we'll go ahead and wrap up the video. Or, we'll get a cutscene. A report from the border side. Yeah, very Final Fantasy tactics. Bandits. Father, allow me. No, I will be... Almost maybe a Delita type character here. This guy doesn't seem to be quite as a dick. Do you believe me in... Do not be so quick to seek glory. I couldn't care less of her glory. In due time. You always say that, Father. Soon enough. We need not to... You always say We may have a Odin-Loki-Thor relationship going on here. Is that not so? Precisely. Then... Though the Odin's line shall live on, take those words to heart. Mont, begin preparations. Call together your swordsmen. Caleb will march. Helen. As you will, my Caleb. Yeah, that's a character I now have. Kito, keep watch over Stark. Be sure he does nothing right. As you wish. Huh, a ninja type character. Hanging out with a potentially Delita type character. Huh. Where have I seen that before? I still say that's going to be a Loki Thor mechanic going on over there between those three. We're not getting into that fight at the carriage? This many monsters are moving. It's a prime opportunity to. Do know. All right, of let's get into combat here. I keep thinking that says game information can be confirmed via nachos. And see, I don't want to auto combat this. Maybe, oh, oh no, 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 don't want that. Can I turn it? Oh, I can turn it off. Sweet. And Ian, all right. So there's a a wait, but this is uh, for a second. I thought this was going to be a similar game where there is no defend option, but there seems to be. And apparently, I can go ahead and click and drag and not just tap cure light veil dark veil vanish do I really have a limit burst already let's see all right holding a button down does not give raises light resistance okay so that's how you find out what it does raises dark resistance Heal light damage. Alright, there we go. Nope. Too far. We'll just wait. So there's the... Alright, Final Fantasy Tactics-esque. Where you pick what side you're going to. I think it's predicting that's going to be an outright kill. Yeah, I wonder if those things will essentially, quote, crystallize. 
after the three rounds, similar to tactics. Alright, so it looks like we have quests to do in each battle. Simili similar to Record Keeper. Classic Final Fantasy battle score there. Ah, I wish I could have read that auto battle thing that was appropriately timed. Contain yourself. Let us press on. Excellent work, Lord Mont. Your command in battle was admirable. Who's this? You shouldn't be so quick to make light of I'm saying that you ought to. Yeah, actually, no, she's right. Well, you're right, Mont. You didn't do that much. The chick did. More sure. No one doubts that you're growing stronger. Your abilities are unlike. You may not look alike, but there's no mistake that you like two peas in a pod. Stern and I. Ever said that I've always wanted to be a strong and you will be Lord Why the delay? Come on back there. Stop getting your ego stroked. Wonder if it'll just go right into the next thing or kick me back to the initial Alright, initial screen. So presence. Oh, they could have walked me through the home screen. Yes, presence. That's exactly where I want to go. I wonder what Fizori is. Maybe another hero? Yes, I want to claim my presence. Will you let me go and get in there, game? Ah, now we're still gonna get more tutorial. So we have that typical leveling system that you see in free-to-play mobile games where you have some kind of a unit that boosts your level and then there's, you know, the original version of it and there's steadily better ones. Consume the following items and level up a job. Hmm. I want to get control already. So this is the uh, the grid sphere, which is like uh, the talents of the game. You are a helpful person. Maybe I wanted to pick discipline. How do you know that game? You weren't guiding me by the hand over here. To remote ah uh, right cool let me click presence oh that's what a visit okay it's the currency not a character okay daily login stuff blah 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 print duh No, I want to see the presence. Okay. I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this up in just a few moments over here. I believe 
Yustola is sitting there in the presents box because I pre-registered for... Oh, wow. That is so... Another Eden over here. Wow. Man, that, that is so nearly identical. Oh, oh. Let's see. Pre-registration gift. There she is. Campaign gift. Ooh. Excalibur. Energy. A lot of potions. Can we get any details on that? No. Cat waifu. That's probably got to be a summons. Uh, let's see. I don't want to summon. How do I get to my units? Will this be it? Let's see if we could do anything about that. Ex ah, there doesn't seem to be an equip spot. Huh. I'm gonna have to find out exactly what that, Exc that Excalibur does. Because it doesn't look like... Oh, looks like maybe I have to do another battle before I get to it. You look like you'd be able to use the sword. Trust mastery. Ah, that's that's a brave Xevious game to have something like that there. That trust master reward. I guess I can't get into my equipment quite yet. Because the game still wants to hold it to me. So it'll be interesting to see if I can use that Excalibur as a weapon. But there you go, guys. That's the beginning part of Final Fantasy. Brave Xevious. It is out now for iOS and Android. Of course, this version is the Android version of it. It does seem to play well so far with Bluestacks. My only concern is uh, whether or not there's a pinch to zoom in and out mechanic, which of course is never that easy to do when you're emulating it. But um, here we go. War of the Visions, Final Fantasy Brave Exevious. Let's see if it actually gets, um, let me roll, um, let's see if we can actually get, uh, some good content in here without having to pay our way through all of it over here. And it looks like you get interesting emotes if you just click the character there. So let me know what you guys think. Are you going to pick the game up? And if you have picked the game up, what do you think about it so far? Peace out, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video.